How do you hear the voice of the Holy Spirit? How do you strengthen your spiritual gifts? How do you start or grow in ministry? What does one have to do in order to have a more effective prayer life, become a bolder witness, or overcome sin? All of these questions and questions like these really come down to one thing, spiritual growth. When you grow spiritually, everything about you changes and improves. Now, it's important that you remember that your growth is a work of the Holy Spirit, but His work requires your participation. So, what are the things one must do in order to grow spiritually? Well, there are many things which can contribute to your spiritual growth, but for the sake of simplicity, I will briefly focus on just three. Here are three keys to spiritual growth. Number one, the Word. But they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all they do. That's Psalm chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. Now, this may seem obvious, but it's vital that you commit to knowing the Word of God. When you know the Word of God, you have a solid foundation upon which you can build your spiritual life. Now, when I tell you that you need the Word, I don't just mean that you need the verse of the day or a video that you watch online. And no, not even this video is a substitute for receiving the Word of God. I'm talking about getting into the Word of God in depth. I'm talking about reading chapters and chapters at a time. Knowing the Word of God brings depth to your spiritual life, protects you from deception, gives power over temptation, clarifies the voice of the Holy Spirit, and strengthens your ability to stand strong even in difficult seasons. Number two, prayer. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 very simply says, never stop praying. Again, this may seem like an obvious key to spiritual growth, but you would be amazed at how many believers neglect these simple acts. Looking for quick growth and shortcuts, many leave these spiritual practices undone. Prayer transforms your very being. It bends you toward the will of God and subjects the desires of the sin nature. Number three, fellowship. And let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. That's Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. When you recognize that there is no power in a building, but that there is power in our gathering, all excuses to not gather with fellow believers begin to crumble. Think about the fact that many of the early church martyrs risk their lives just to gather with the saints. That should tell you how important it is. It's a biblical command. When you connect with other believers, you are given accountability, encouragement, friendship, and so much more. Like embers all coming together, our gathering likewise stirs a fire. Again, there are many other keys to spiritual growth, but by putting these basic keys into practice, 
you'll begin to see spiritual growth in your life. I encourage you to make the time for the Word of God, for prayer, and for gathering with the saints.